I'm going to be making a, a type of soap that I've never made before um, with as it regards to swirls and stuff. So it's called the Dirty Pour or like the cup dirty pour uh, technique. It's, I guess it's used, it's used like in the acrylic world for resins and acrylic type art. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. I haven't seen this technique very often. I've actually only seen it once. That's probably just cause I haven't, you know, Googled it a lot or whatever, but um, I don't know. Let's, I don't know. I have no idea how this will turn out. I don't, but I'm, it's going to be so much fun to try and you're going to see the results at the same time as me. So let's do this. I just added in my lye water and I'm just going to blend just until emulsification. We need it to be a thin, thin pour. My lye water was pretty cool when I put it in, so hopefully that will help it uh, slow down trace. Uh, I also have about 25% olive oil, and my batter is probably about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's it's not hot. Generally, I soap hot, but I really don't want to flub this up. I just added the essential oils, such as spearmint and patchouli. Just give it a pulse here. Okay, here comes the crazy part. I have like seven colors here from blue, black, yellow, orange, pink, green. I'm just going to pour a little bit into each cup and the rest will, will keep white. Okay, now we're going to mix this. Now I have all these colors on standby to mix in more if I needed to. That's the turmeric here. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, turmeric. This is my paprika. So I put just the powders in the cup with like half a teaspoon of almond oil. And I mix that prior to putting the soap base in. Well, those colors look about the same. Here's my matter root powder. Here's my cocoa powder. Here is my green, my dehydrated greens that I like to use. And this is my first time using uh, indigo in oil and adding it at trace. Generally, I make like a tea and then use that in my lye water. So this is a great big experimentation and I'm kind of excited to try it. And I really hope it turns out nice. We shall see. And this is the charcoal. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do, I have four cups here. Let me see if you can see that. I have four of these larger cups. And I'm going to divide the rest of the white batter into these cups as evenly as I can. Hey Luke, can you go outside and get me four large rocks? I'll show you why I think I may need the rocks in just a minute. Okay, so I have it divided pretty evenly. So I'm just going to set those aside. I'm going to pour one of the cups into here. Okay, and this is what we're going to do. We're just going to like, yeah, that's great. Pour, alternate the pour.
And I'm not even like keeping track of which colors I'm pouring here. In the end, I don't think it's, it matters. That blue looks really pretty. I hope it stays blue. Okay, here comes the tricky part, or the part that is yeah, going to be interesting. Mm, this is my mold right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cardstock, piece of cardstock, cover it firmly with my hand, and I should have cut this a little smaller, but then I'm going to flip it upside down and release it. And I'm just going to stick that in there. And then I was thinking I might need the rocks to keep it weighted down, but I think we'll be all set. Actually, you know what? I think I'm only supposed to do that part later. Yeah, it's all a learning. It's a learning video. So let's go ahead and get the next color thing set up. Simply alternating the colors in any way you want. Next time, I think I would put more color, get um, put more colors in slightly larger cups because I think I'm gonna have to remix more colors. Sorry if you can't see everything that I'm doing. I'm still learning to make videos. I'm still trying to be mindful of the camera that there's actually a camera there and that I can block you um, with my cups and whatnot. So there is one cup and I think I'm just supposed, I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to do my next cup. Gonna pour it into the pour. Just get a little base layer down there. And we're gonna go ahead and continue to randomly put some colors in the cup. Yeah, and I'm running out of colors here, so we may have to take a short break while I mix more. That blue is really pretty. for a sec and I'm gonna mix more colors and we'll be right back and we're back this particular essential oil blend smells really nice it's like 75% spearmint and 25% patchouli and I can't really smell the patchouli right now I smell more the spearmint And I'm just a big mess maker. I've got puddles of soap all over the kitchen counter. And I should have mixed this cocoa one a little bit better. It's slightly clumpy. I should probably try infusing the oil, <clears throat> infusing the oils next time too so it doesn't get the grainy look. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. So we have a little bit of white soap left. That's totally fine. I'll just throw it in a little individual mold. Let me kind of clean up my mess for those who are concerned about my mess because my, anyway. Okay, so I'm going to get my cardstock. I'm going to put it over and as fast as I can I'm gonna flip it into my mold and I'm gonna hope that I miss I mean that I don't miss okay here we go huh it 
Let's see if we can get it in there. For the last one. Okay, now I'm going to let me see if you can even see. I'm gonna get this closer. I'm just gonna lift these up. Give them a little shake. So I have no idea what this is going to look like. It kind of doesn't look too promising right now. <laughs> it looks, it looks brown and murky. But we're going to go with it and we're going to, we're going to gel it. Then we'll cut it. Sometimes working with the natural colorants, you, colorants, you don't get the vibrant colors you might hope for. But we'll end it here. I'm going to try to gel this thing. I'm going to try not to overheat it and I'll come back for the cut. The moment we've all been waiting for. Our little loaf is ready to cut. It kind of overheated. You can see that the wrinkly kind of alien brain look. <clears throat> but that'll, that'll be okay. We're just gonna plane it off when we clean up the bars. And then on the bottom it's a little bit like shiny and greasy, but it, overall it kind of looks like very cosmic and spacey. But I've set up the cutter to the length that I needed, or the height I should say. We're going to go ahead and cut. That looks really cosmic.